everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3. Make sure you're hitting that like button if you're enjoying Planet Coaster and want to see more in the future. Happy Halloween, by the way. It's finally here. Uh, didn't quite finish the Parks episode, so like I said before, we're going to be going a little bit overboard on here. Speaking of overboard, or I guess capsize, we got an upside down ship. I decided that, that would look cool to kind of uh, have it be its own building, so we just kind of flipped it over right there. That's a cool wooden texture, kind of breaks up the pattern of the rest of the blockish buildings. And added a couple ATMs there. Looking alright, I think it came out pretty, pretty cool looking. Next door, we're going to be putting a random building. This building will serve no, no purpose, I just wanted to do a new building in this area. For no apparent reason. Yeah, I just wanted to film this area with a cool looking building, so try to look something different, doing like an asymmetrical building design. And just filling it out, yeah. Did we actually get a quite a bit of work done this episode. We finish up the pirate village here. We make our uh, haunted forest slash witch ride, and then we make our mad scientist ride, which comes out okay. It's all right. <laughs> you guys know I suck at the making like anything modern, and that's what I was trying to do here. It's more of like an amphitheater, which is the ride kind of placed inside. But I think it's a cool little visual interest piece. So came out all right looking. Has some windows on this bad boy. Uh, the next episode will probably be finishing touches, and then after that we'll do the tour. I might actually wait until the beta to record the tour, uh, just because we'll have perpetual nighttime. Because this will, will look a lot cooler if we can just film the whole park while it's at night. So I may wait for that. It'll be just like I don't know, about a week. Actually, less than a week. Yeah, maybe like s no, I guess like eight days. Okay, it'll be eight days, but we might wait until then. Uh, and then the next episode is gonna be just finishing touches on the park, and then we'll be doing, like I said, the tour after that. Yeah, it'll just be cooler once we can do it at nighttime, because we'll have the day-night switch. And the beta, I'm so very excited for. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are not 100%, but the beta is gonna be giving us the western theme and the sci-fi theme, as well as the management and the day-night cycles and stuff, so... That's gonna be awesome, definitely gonna be playing a butt-ton of Planet Coaster with that. I know you guys will be excited, but once again, I gotta remind people, I will have to remind people as I'm playing Planet Coaster in the beta and the release, this is not a Planet Coaster exclusive channel. I don't do just Planet Coaster, I just happen to be doing a lot of it now. Heck, in probably a few months time, I'll probably stop playing Planet Coaster. I'm an indie game variety channel, but I'm just really enjoying Planet Coaster right now and it's doing well for the channel, so I'll ride that high, just like back when I used to be a scrap mechanic channel, people thought it was a scrap mechanic channel. I've said it timeless, time and time again. If you guys haven't checked out my games, because I know a lot of you are just here for Planet Ghost, you should try them out. We've been playing some fun games lately. Like today, I did uh, two other Halloween themed episodes. Well, one was Halloween. We played the Cluster Truck Halloween maps that just came out. That was a ton of fun. And then we uh, played around some with some uh, Hollow Neighbor, which is kind of a spooky game. We good for Halloween and played around with some glitches and stuff in that so definitely recommend checking those out after this video if you guys do want to see the links to them will be in the uh comments below i guess i'll just leave a comment instead of putting in the description because there's, there's so much stuff in the description honestly most of my description is just for search engine optimization rather than useful information <laughs> well there's useful information in there too but uh it's best to use description for search engine optimization if you guys don't know what that is it's basically metadata using the title tags and description that allow my videos to get ranked which I'm hoping it will do well for me uh, once this game is released or goes into beta. Because uh, a lot of my videos are on the front page when you search for it. For a while I was holding the top spot when the Alpha 3 first came out. So hopefully I'll be able to do the same when the beta comes out. I'm so excited. Doing a little time lapse for you there guys. The park is actually filling up rather nicely. I like how it's looking. We're not going to be wasting a lot of space here. Uh, this may be considered a waste of space for people. But we end up doing just a very large forest over here. Kind of the road winding through the forest over to like the witch village i'm calling it the witch village and yeah it's mostly just a bunch of trees bushes and stuff and little lakes but i think it's cool looking kind of like a little swamp this thing okay i thought this was supposed to like spin around that axis but it just it never moved that spinning witch it says like flying witch but she doesn't move i was kind of confused by that i didn't actually go back and check later i was just gonna stare at it see if it eventually moved if i like fast forward in time but Whatever. Adding some little ponds in there, trying to make them a little bit less perfectly circular. And, you know, because that was kind of boring looking. We're going to be doing some scary trees and entrances and exits. And then just filling in the large area with bushes. Uh, for this thing, I wanted to wrap it in these cool roots. It's going to be similar to what we were doing over in the graveyard. I mean, we only really have so, so many spooky items or, yeah, scary items to deal with. But it should be pretty cool. 
I, I think this actually came out really cool again. It's kind of uh, very rooted and natural looking. Well, not really natural, but spooky and scary and trees and etc. More synonyms and or homonyms or... I need to get a thesaurus, man. It's, I, <laughs> I get a lot better at describing things. I need a word of the day calendar or something. But that'd be great. Man, this took a long time in the video, but we were just flying through in the time lapse. What also happens when you go at 500% speed? It's really convenient. Does some nice little dead trees all around there. And there's gonna be a lot of tree placing. In fact, I do some, uh, poor tree placement later. You'll see that. Uh, I, I tried taking a bunch of trees and bushes as a blueprint, but they're all on different levels because I was on the side of a hill, so I kept making them float and stuff. So you'll see that later where I place a bunch and have to go, damn it, and then I delete them all. So, oh well. You'll learn from your mistakes, but it's looking alright. It's a nice dense forest. I really like that. Yeah, I looked at it again. She still doesn't move. See right here. I take all these. I'm like, okay, we'll just make this a uh, clump of trees. There you go. And then I'll put them up here. And I'll place a bunch over here. And here. And here. It's just old time saver. I'll we'll place trees everywhere. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm seed up. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Cause I'm a freaking idiot. I go down there. I'm like, wait. All these trees and bushes are floating. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's really annoying. Fine. We'll just place them all one by one. How about that? That'll be fine. And we do some bushes here. We can't even see them when you zoomed out, so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing at some point. I'll start doing it. Yeah, with these bushes, like, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but I was actually placing them. Believe you me. So again, just doing my normal thing, starting with the lower layers and then building up from there to really give it that dense forest look. Filling it up as we go. Add some more trees, some more bushes. Getting the bigger trees up now. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot of clicking. My finger got tired. My poor little finger. To make sure we don't have any bushes or trees in the way of the path, well, we kind of do, but just scoot them out of the way. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. There we go. Looking nice, looking nice. And then what was I doing here? I wanted, uh, I want some mist around here. Run the entrance and exits. We'll make it all spooky and scary and misty. Somewhere around there. There we go. Make it all misty. I don't know why I get a list when I say mist. Maybe because they rhyme. And then over here, I wanted a different lamp. So I like the idea of using the uh, the dead tree, but then I decided to make my own by adding that lamp on it. Little did I know that though, it's not actually touching the wood, it's kind of flowing a couple inches in front of it, so I have to go back off camera and just change that. You see me do it on the last couple ones here, and I was like, well, that's not something you guys want to watch, it's kind of boring, so I'll just do it later. There we go. You know, one regret of this area, I wish I made it a little less flat. Some more hills and stuff I think would have been, uh, would have been good here. Yeah, oh well. Uh, regret. I don't want to move all the trees. <laughs> it's not too bad, but yeah, just some, some, like, nothing too extreme, like huge mounds, just some gentle hills. The mist always looks terrible in, uh, when you speed up. I think it looks really bad in fast motion. It looks a lot better when it's, like, slowly billowing around. So I'll definitely be able to see that in the, uh, final tour. Here we're doing some pink lights. There, I wanted it reddish, but not as, the, like, the deep red that we had over in the insane asylum. Uh, but I wanted something a little bit more pinkish, reddish. Um, these came out pretty cool looking. I'm trying to pick a nice color for each of the areas to kind of symbolize it. You know what I mean? You're picking up what I'm laying down. You smell what I'm stepping in. So over here we decided to take this Brainiac right over the hell it is and kind of... I didn't want to completely close it. I kind of just wanted it in some sort of alcove or covering. That'll kind of imply the mad scientist theme thing we got going on. And so it comes out alright looking. As you guys know, I... Don't like doing modern stuff too often because I don't think it looks very good with the pieces in the game, but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Always gotta try something different, guys. As soon as you start getting comfortable, things get stale and they get boring. So always try new things, always innovate, always move forward. <laughs> I, was, uh, so I guess I was watching too much Luke Cage. Always forward. Anyway. Oh, uh, we ended up moving the side of the the side walls there, and rather just go for like a squarish shape because it's easier to design. Pull that down. Try not to do different things. Okay, maybe let's go over here. Maybe this can go over here, but it was a little bit too big and gaudy. I'd rather have it kind of just be its small own thing. I need to figure out a, what to like decorate the outside of this area with, because I don't want to just put trees everywhere and stuff. Well, I guess I could do like like manicure trees, like put planters and stuff, rather than just having the wild trees, kind of like the forest. I think we'll do that. I should try and make it look like it's uh, a cultivated lawn, or not a cultivated lawn, like a landscape, in in intentionally landscaped area. There's, there's a phrase I was trying to think of. Hmm. Or whatever. 
I always come up with ideas in these videos, and then I always forget to implement them, or they just turn out not to be good ideas. Oh, when we do the next, uh, the last episode of actual building, I will be doing, I'll probably be using a lot of the uh, viewer suggestions. Some people give suggestions like, uh, in the graveyard, have people's body parts coming out of the walls, uh, have some prisoners in the insane asylum, just having like the animatronic pirates, they could be good prisoners in there, things like that. So if you have any suggestions for anywhere in the park, this is definitely the time and place to let me know because I will be implementing them in the next couple of episodes. Yep. Finishing up here. It's looking all right. I don't mind it. I'm picking up what it's laying down. Trying to add some white floors there. It's rails is too low, so we gotta raise it up just a just a smidge. The no rails is <laughs> skipping over that part of the line, but oh I'll just delete it. It's all good. All good in the hood. And over here I definitely wanted to put some more electricity and stuff. I mean as a mad scientist, you definitely need those uh van graph wait, van graph generators? Is that the thing I'm thinking of? What's the big metal ball and has the lightning van de Graaff generators? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. You know, the things go like... They see in like mad scientist labs. I might be thinking of something else. Hmm. I do not know. I do not know. Tossing a whole bunch of lights here. Decided not to sink them because I would rather have them uh, above the ground. Kind of all pointed towards this area. Really light it up. Make it nice and bright. Then want to take some more electricity panels. Toss them in there. I was like, alright, you know, that's looking okay. But by the time we got to that, I was like, okay, we're done with the episode, so I was just going to end you guys with a nice little sunrise time lapse of our Halloween park. I still need a name for the park, too. Maybe like Scene Tops Haunted Horrors or something, or something better than that, you know. <laughs> something not horrible, that'd be great. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Make sure you smack that like button if you enjoyed Want to see more Planet Coaster in the future? Get excited for the beta and full release in the month of November. I can't freaking wait to build stuff with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.